Hello guys, what is up? It is Finn here bringing you guys some more MLB 15, the show, Road to the Show, here in Philly's franchise. And before we start out this episode, let's see if we can get 30 likes since we hit the last goal uh, extremely well. So I'm going to bump it up a lot and let's see if we can get 30 likes. I know we can do it easily. So we have a big episode here. We have Severino Gonzalez making his major league debut for us against Travis Wood in the Chicago Cubs and uh, we are trying to get back over 500 and um, this is not even if we did win this game we wouldn't get over 500 but um, we are we are trying to work our way back up there so um, this is a uh, the next few games are going to be big but um, we are I think we'll get there easily eventually and I really hope we make the playoffs with this club I know this is a um, the pitching is phenomenal on this team, but um, before I go any further, I did want to uh, mention one thing. We did complete a huge trade. Uh, you guys will see it in the next episode because the trade wasn't completed until uh, a couple games after this one, but um, we got a huge player. Now, you guys might question why I got him because um, we did have someone else that is uh, kind of promising to fill this route or not this rotation no it's not a pitcher uh, no more starting pitchers that's for sure um but we do have someone else uh to fill this position in uh possibly in the future but this guy is more of a uh you know this guy's like a definite lock uh but the guy behind him hopefully he does have a second position so we might move him there if need be but um or who knows we could trade him since he is a uh he could end up being a great uh you know trade bait but um as you guys can see uh Gonzalez is kind of having a rough start but uh hopefully he can work out of it but uh let me go back to what I was talking about but we did give up uh three guys uh in the major league level to get this uh player um I'm not saying who it is but uh, you guys will, uh, I'm sure, all you fin or, uh, baseball fanatics will uh, know who he is because he's a pretty big name now. Um, no, it's not Mike Trout. <laughs> so I'll say that it is not Mike Trout. That would be awesome, though, but I don't think I have anyone that I could trade to get Mike Trout. Maybe, like, three guys in my starting rotation. But, um, um, but yeah, this guy, I was really happy to get this trade. Now, they did want... Uh, I will say who they wanted. They did want Salvador Perez for him, but uh, I did want to give that up because I don't have like any catchers uh, aside from Salvador Perez, except for J.P. Aaron Sibia and uh, Tommy Joseph. And I do have Cameron Rupp, but he's not really. Uh, I don't. I don't like him that much. I don't think he's that great of a player. But um, he's a good catcher, but he's not a good uh, hitter. But, um, and with Salvador Perez, he's great at both. Like, he's a great all-around player. But, um, so yeah, I definitely didn't want to give him up. But, um, this guy, I did trade three guys, and I think it was a, a great steal. Because I don't think these three players were a huge loss. In fact, uh, two of them were kind of getting older. But, um... I, I really want to say the trade, but I can't. I have to save it for the next episode. But uh, I don't think you guys will be too upset about... I don't think you guys will be upset at all about the trade. If anything, you guys might be upset that one player left. Uh, I don't think the other two are really huge, you know, fan favorites. Uh, even the one guy that I'm thinking about, I don't think you guys will be too upset that he left. I don't think you guys were huge fans of him. But, um... I think it was a good trade. I think, you know, there was a couple other guys he, that they wanted. Or wait, no. Maybe I didn't trade who I thought. No, I think I traded one. Did I trade a triple-A a player? Oh, no, I think I uh, I called him up to the big league level and then traded him, um, which was not, you know, going to happen. But when he did offer me, uh, or when they did offer me Salvador Perez... I was, you know, like, oh, I really don't know if I want to complete this trade. And then I was like, wait a minute, why don't I just see if I can offer them any other players for him? You know, because I didn't want to get rid of Perez. And, uh, but uh, I do want to say the trade really bad, but I'm not going to. But I don't think you guys are going to be too upset about it because the uh, the players I did trade away, their positions were very easy to fill. 
Um, except I did have to call up one player or two that I didn't really want to. But, um, you know, they're not really high in, um, you know, overall. But uh, I figured I would because, you know, we have promising players in their positions uh, for the future. And I think our starting lineup may have gotten a bit better because I know the one guy I did call up is a, uh, he's a good, or not the one guy I called up, the one guy that I have filling in for one of the players is a, uh, he, he was a very good off the bench. But um, I'm going to stop talking about this, Drake, because I don't want to spoil or uh, give away anything. So, um, but anyway, back to this game. So Gonzalez is having himself a very good game. We got lucky with that error in right field as that really helped us out. And Travis Wood started out this game with, I think it was, what, seven straight strikeouts? And, uh, yeah, I mean, it was a he is having a very good game. Both pitchers are. But uh, So I don't know what happened here. I don't know why Franco didn't decide to cover first base after this play. I guess I don't even know if we would have gotten him if he got to the bag in time. But, um, so it is a, uh, pretty good game so far. Uh, hopefully Gonzalez can get the win, but, um, he does get out of the fifth inning here. So five shutout innings for the rookie in his first major league game. Herrera up next. He's going to hit this one into left field, but it is going to be caught out there in left. Next batter up will be Salvador Perez, and he is going to strike out looking, and Chase Utley will be up next to follow, and he is going to get himself, I believe it was his second base hit of the game. So he is having himself a very good game. And Darren Ruff will be up next, and he is going to ground out here to end the inning. So, Gonzalez back on the mound here in the sixth inning. And this one's going to be caught out there in right field by Kiermaier. Not sure what happened with the, the first clip but, um, because there was, uh, I saw there was one out already, but that's okay, because the first, you know, it was an out, so it didn't really need to be featured in the film, but, um, or in the, uh, episode, but one thing I was thinking about doing was not doing play-by-play, -play, uh, or in every single play, more like the important plays, but I think the episode would be a lot shorter, because this episode is short as it is, but, um, I don't think it would be that great because I think you guys like to see every single play, which I think is better because you guys don't know what's going to happen. If I show like only important plays, you guys know something's going to happen. It's just what is going to happen. But uh, that's the only reason why I think I'm going to stick with this. But uh, Kevin Kiermeyer gets himself a triple. He is having a good game as well, which is uh, not common for him. He has had himself a pretty slow season, but Franco is going to pop up here to end the inning he has also actually I forgot to mention I did end up uh, sending him down for a little bit but I had to call him back up after the uh, trade went down but um so I I actually thought one of the players I traded was on our team but I realized that uh, he wasn't I I think I traded yeah I think I traded a uh, an infielder but I'm not saying who it is but um so Gonzalez is just having himself a very good game. He has uh, hit or uh, pitched seven shutout innings, but Blanco is going to come in to pinch hit, and Tommy Lestel is going to have just enough room to make this catch. So next batter up, or excuse me, we'll show the comparison as Gonzalez really uh, did a lot better than Travis Wood, uh, even though both pitchers did phenomenal. Gonzalez with five strikeouts, but Wood with 12. Actually, you know what? I might say... Wood pitched a lot better because I know he gave up more hits, but uh, actually I don't I didn't see how many hits uh, Gonzalez gave up. I don't think he gave up that many. Did he only give up one? I think he might have only given up one. I'm not sure. But Ken Giles is going to come into this game now here in the bottom of the eighth inning, and he is going to strike out the first two batters he faces. And next batter up will be Chris Coglin, who's going to hit this one just past the diving. Hernandez and he is going to be on first with a hit. Jake Diekman's going to come in and Salvador Perez is going to nail Coglin trying to steal second. So three outs here in the eighth and that will take us to the top of the ninth and Utley's going to lead things off. He is going to get himself another base hit as he is having himself a good game. Not too many crazy hits but he has gotten I believe three base hits but Darren Ruff is going to strike out. He's been in a slump as well and Hernandez is going to ground into a double play. So we go to the next inning now, and Diekman will still be on the mound for the Phillies, and the next batter up is going to hit this one up the middle, 
So the leadoff man is on here in this one nothing game. Justin DeFreitas is in now, and he is going to walk Starlin Castro. So first and second now with no outs. And hopefully here they're not going to be able to turn the double play, but it's second and third now with only one out. And they are going to walk Jorge Soler. And he is going to end up on first. So base is loaded. And now this one's going to be up the middle. The first run will definitely score. But the third of the plate is going to not be in time. And Perez cannot apply the tag. And the Phillies are going to end up losing this one 2-1. to one. Very depressing loss here for the Phillies as they end up short. As they lose this one 2-1. to one. In the bottom of the ninth, as DeFreitas cannot get the save. Uh, I don't know who was actually hit with this loss. I think it was DeFreitas or Diekman, but I don't remember. But that is going to be a very depressing end to this episode, as unfortunately the Phillies just could not come out on top. But that is going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. But Gonzalez, though, put on one hell of a show for the Phillies in this one. As Travis Wood gets himself player of the game with twi uh, uh, yeah, 12. <laughs> 12 strikeouts, only issued one walk, no earned runs, and uh, just a great game for him. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Remember, our like goal is 30 likes on this episode. I know we can do it, so don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I am going to see you guys in the next episode. Peace.